In this problem 1726, we're asked to find delta G at free energy change at standard state as well as the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure, Kp, for this reaction. So this reaction is undergoing an equilibrium. And we want to calculate Kp, but first we'll calculate delta G. So let's utilize the back of the book values to get our delta G free energy uh, change for this reaction at standard state, 25 degrees C, and then one atmosphere of pressure. So here we'll look at it in the back of the book. If you don't see delta G naught and just simply see delta G, uh, then you cannot use the back of the book values. But that naught symbol, that superscript O, tells us it's uh, at standard state, we can use the back of the book values. So uh, some of the products minus some of the reactants. So we'll figure out the delta G at standard state here. So this equation is balanced. So uh, some of the products. So um, hydrogen, uh, looking that up in the table, that's actually zero. So that's the base element. Plus oxygen is zero. That's the base element for oxygen, O2 gas. Minus two times water, and this time we want to make sure we're using water as a gas because that is what is in our problem, water as a gas. So looking that up in our table in the back of the book, we get a value of 2O gas is uh, making sure we're gas. Yes, that's it. Two times this, two times minus 228.57 doing this on my calculator, I'm getting an answer of 2 times 228.57. By the way, the minus and a minus becomes a plus, so it's going to be positive 457.14 kilojoules per mole. So that will be our delta G for this reaction. Positive sign tells you this reaction is no-go unless you input some energy. So we call that an endergonic reaction. Let's go ahead and find the Kp and uh, solve this problem here. So uh, the equation here for standard state uh, is delta G of a reaction at standard state is minus RT natural log of K. In this case, the K is Kp. Uh, we already have delta G of this particular reaction, and we calculated that. It's 457.14. We're solving for K, so I'm not really going to be interested in units. R is, um, let me put the minus sign here. So we're going to divide that by RT. So 8.314, I'm not going to put units because K has no units. And at standard state, we're at 25 degrees C, or 298 Kelvin. All right, so let's take E of both sides of the equation. Uh, one thing we can do is just go ahead and solve that uh, complicated fraction in our calculator before we take E. So 457.14, um, okay, um, don't forget the minus sign. So minus 457.14 divided by 8.314 times 298 in our denominator. And that gives us minus 0.1845 or so. And let's just go ahead and take E of that. So if we take E of that, um, E to the minus 0 0.18452, we will get our value, which corresponds to P, so the inverse of the natural log of our answer, which is that. And 0.83. Um, which um, will be our Kp value, so 0.83, which is the Kp that we solve for this equation. So uh, this equations that we can use are because we're at standard state. If we're not at standard state, we have to use what's called the NERST equation to take into consideration that we're not under the conditions of temperature or concentration or pressure. But since this is at standard state, we can go ahead and utilize K and um, utilize the values in the back of the book, which are at standard state conditions.